Hello my beautiful little honey pies, come on in, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video that I've never filmed before and last night I was in the bath and I thought do you know what would be a good video idea? Apps that I absolutely love to use on my phone. I feel like it's been done quite a lot on YouTube but I've not really seen too much of it recently and I am very much someone who loves a bit of phone time. I love looking at apps, I love going on them, it's just a little bit of fun for me. So let's just crack on. I'm going to share with you guys all the apps that I'm really enjoying at the moment. It changes all the time but these are the ones I'm using. Now let's get started! Okay, so let's just jump in. The first one that I love is Pinterest. I feel like everybody probably knows about Pinterest. Basically, you go on there and the way I can describe it to people is it's just like one big inspiration vision board. Does that make sense? So if you go on there and you create an account, you can put in all the different things you like to look at, whether that be cars, luxury houses, it could be like activities to do with your toddler, it could be jewellery, it could be tattoos, piercings. I am a big sucker for like the tattoos, the piercings, the hairstyles, the makeup, the nails, just love it all. So if you've never tried Pinterest, I definitely recommend you go on there. Like I said, you can create your own board. So I've got boards for like weddings, baby nursery, home decor. It is just so great and like I said, it pretty much is a vision board. Like if you go on there and you like something, it'll just pop up loads of other things and you can save it to a board for inspiration. I just bloody love it. It's such a great invention. <laughs> Okay, next up we've got Etsy, which again is probably no surprise to you guys because I am a fan. I actually did a haul a couple months ago all about my Etsy purchases, mainly clothing, but I really like it. The thing I like about it is it's just got such a good feel about it. So basically it's just one big platform where you can buy things from people who have made them or have bought them in and are just reselling them. So I love to go on there and buy my Myself a lovely little slogan t-shirt from a brand that is basically made it by themselves and they're just trying to get their name out there and it's just got a really good feel about it and I always just feel like when I'm on there I'm supporting someone's business which in this day and age means so much to people and I just love it I love that feeling of I could have got this on Amazon but I know that by me buying it here I'm supporting someone's dream and their vision and their goal and I just really like that. I'm a big fan of all their baby stuff so I love to go on there if a friend or family member has had a baby I love to go on there and get like a lovely little personalised ceramic plaque with her little name on it or buy the mums a little like self-care package it's just great. If you've got a birthday or a Christmas present or like a teacher present, whatever it may be that you want to buy someone and you want it to be special, go to Etsy. Again, so great. Spotify is an app that I use religiously all day, every day. It's just probably the app that I use the most, to be honest. So the thing that I love about Spotify is it's so diverse. You can listen to anything on there. Even things that are on YouTube you can listen to on there. So for example, I love the Jason Stevenson meditations and I only actually figured this out recently. He has got all of them on YouTube. I did not know that he had them on Spotify. I did not know that he had them on Spotify. So when you're on YouTube and you're scrolling through all of them and you're trying to find the one that you like the best, he has got a complete playlist on there of every meditation he's ever done. And I just find that so great. Again, I love podcasts. My podcast is on there, I'll link it below. I love the Shagged Married Annoyed podcast, the Friend Caught in Happy Place, uh, Diary of a CEO. I love Dr. Wrongin Chatterjee. Jay Shetty's, just so many different podcasts. It's so great. I just love how diverse it is. It's so easy to use, not that expensive, and I just find it really, really easy. Great little app, and I personally just love using it. So that's Spotify. Similarly to that, I adore Audible. Again, I've mentioned this a couple of times before. I really struggle to read a book because my mind is just all over the place. And I tend to, if I'm reading a book, 
kind of block out what I've read and I have got to read that book like two, three, four times to actually remember what I've read and it's just infuriating. Like I don't get much chance to read anyway. So to read a chapter of a book and then maybe not pick it up for a few days, it's completely gone out my head. So for me, Audible is such a good option. And the thing I love about Audible is you can pay your 9 99 every month. You get one credit every month, which by the way, you can use on a book that's like 20 pounds. So it's so worth your money. But as well as that, you have access to basically the whole plus catalogue and on the plus catalogue you've got loads of new books that have been released you've got again podcasts you've got like loads of just like free little mini books the amount of books I've got on there that I've been able to download for free that would have cost me like so much money is absolutely crazy and I just feel like you cannot beat it in terms of value for money. One of the things I have found on Audible recently that I have kind of been a little bit in love with is Jamie Dornan from Fifty Shades of Grey, he does a sleep podcast. There's only like five or six episodes, but he's in like different locations and basically talking you to sleep. And do we not want Christian Grey talking us to sleep? I absolutely do. Thank you very much. I mean, if he was here in person reading it to me, that would be much better. But unfortunately, we don't get everything we want. So that's that. You guys know that I love a good meditation and I really love the app Calm. It's got like a picture of the water and the mountains and like the trees. It has like little messages to you like take a deep breath. And obviously it's a meditation app so pretty much everything on there is like your meditations, your sleep meditation, music, soundscape, it's got daily like words of wisdom, it's got ones for kids, for movement, for work, like there's just something for everyone on here and I just love that you can have one for afternoon nap, mindfulness at work, like whatever you're doing there's a meditation for it. So if you want to reduce stress and anxiety, coping with the weight of the world, medica medication, meditation for beginners, resilient parenting and pregnancy, fall asleep, learn to meditate, like there's check-ins for how you're feeling. It's just got everything. If you really want something that's gonna make you feel calm and just make you feel like relaxed and that you can just switch off for a while and turn your brain off, of the busyness, I really, really recommend Calm and it's really not that expensive for what it is. I'm gonna leave everything down below for you guys so you can like find out how much it is, all of that stuff. Have you tried the app Fit On? Oh my God, it is amazing. I never thought I'd be telling you guys about this because I am very much someone, I have got to love my workout to love it. Do you know what I mean? Like I have got to be invested in it, I've got to feel like it's fun, I've got to feel like it's not a lot of work because I just get bored otherwise. Fit on, I have recommended to so many of my friends. I'm going to tell you what I love about it. When you're doing a workout you can actually share it at the end like your progress, you can take a picture, you can share it to your friends, like you can do it together. And the thing that I also like about it is there's just so much of a variety. Again, talking about variety, you've got meditation, stretch, hip, pilates, yoga, cardio, you've got sessions, you can do toning, no equipment, dance, quick hits and bar. Basically, there's everything on there. There's actually already, like there's more than that, but that's just a few of the ones I want to show you guys. If you wanna get into working out, highly recommend Fit On. You can pay for it, but I use a cheap version, like the free version, and I find it so beneficial. I don't feel bombarded by the ads, and to be honest, I just really like it. And again, you can actually get some celebrities on here doing the workout and you can join in. It just feels like a big community of people, which I really like. I feel like a community feel makes you feel like you're actually accountable. Can we say feel any more times? Probably not. Okay, we're down to our last three now. And this one is a little bit of a random one, but one that I have been using so much, I feel like it's really, really helped me. So it's called The Vocal Coach. And if you have ever watched X Factor, I think she did Britain's Got Talent. I think she did The Voice. She definitely did The Voice Kids, I'm sure. I'll leave it all below, like I said. But the lady who does the vocal coaching, Annabelle Williams, you would have seen her on The X Factor and all that stuff. 
she teaches all the most amazing people in the world jennifer hudson little mix james arthur now i really want to do her vocal like singing lessons but they're quite expensive so for an hour it's 180 pounds and i think it's 260 for your first lesson or 280 obviously she'll be well worth it and i really believe if you're going to do something like this and you want it to be like a career you need to go to the best but I think her app is pretty much like second best to that. So on the app it's got development exercises, warm ups and vocal health and she does a lot of tutorials on here. I'm going to show you a little bit of them so you can see what it looks like. It's got morning daily breathing, your riffs for male and female, pop lick, minor arpeggios, it's got agility, blues, 7-eleven breathing, twang, melodic, pitch accuracy octaves again riffs and then on here this is like your warm-ups so like your breathing lip bubbles long note like all of that kind of thing again it's something you'd have to look at by yourself but if you're interested in singing i think it's like five pounds a month which is nothing compared to like her experience or like going to a lesson with her and she has said before that this app is pretty much like being in a lesson with her so you can basically make your own playlist you can save it as your own workout so every day the ones that you really like to do you can save it and just do them every day and I just think it's a really cool app and I have found such an improvement which is what we want okay so the next one slightly embarrassing but I'm just gonna tell you guys Kim Kardashian Hollywood basically it's a game where you start off being like working in a shop I think and she comes in and she's like oh help help I think you've got a styler or something and then basically you can do loads of jobs that get you to become famous I am pretty famous in this game let me just tell you that right now I've got millions of followers it is kind of a little bit of a trashy game but I absolutely love it basically you just go about doing like different jobs like modelling jobs, acting jobs. I don't feel like it's as interactive as I'd like, but it's quite good and you can like buy different outfits and style them up and do like photo shoots. I just think it's quite cool. It's all of a sudden just got really bright, I apologise, but yeah, I just like it a lot. And to be honest, it's not a game that I'm on all of the time, but when I'm on it, it's like I become addicted for a while. It's like when you play The Sims and you spend like hours, days building your dream home, getting all that money in the bank and then you kind of get a bit bored. Okay, so last but not least, if you're a skincare fan, you've probably already got this shit locked down, but it's an app called Skin Rocks. Now, I love this because Caroline Hirons is probably one of my favourite internet people of all time. So basically, if you don't know Caroline, she is someone who is really educated in the skincare world. So she has her blog, which has done like over like hundreds of millions of views, all about skincare like myth busting and sharing products and like how to's and all that kind of thing so her blog and her book which i do have and her app and her instagram by the way her instagram she does like live at fives where she just talks all about skincare she's got so many videos on there that she's done she did loads over the pandemic and it's all about like your acid and your SPF and your moisturiser cleanser, like what products are best, all that kind of thing. She is someone that if you know nothing about skincare will show you the way. I have learned so much from her. She also has an, um, not Instagram, a Facebook group called Caroline Hiron Skincare Freaks. It is so good. But anyway, back to the app. What you'll find is on here, she's got quite a lot of blog posts that she's like done before. So things like how to streamline your routine, um, skincare trends to pay attention to, skincare routines when exercising. This is her there and she does like discount codes and like backstage like chats all about like brands and stuff. And yeah, like your skincare 101, the science, like just everything really. If you want to know anything about skincare, you probably will find it on the app. A lot of people said it's like 
the Google but a skincare version and what she also does is there's quite a lot of products on there and what you can do is you can type in like your skin concern, what product type, like your skin type, your age and you can go on serums, moisturiser, eye, mask, lip, cleanser, SPF, toner, spots, tools, exfoliator, mist and basically it just comes up loads of different brands and it's basically like a google for skincare that's the only way i can describe it so say you want to look at a cleanser and you have got acne skin you type that in it comes up 104 different cleansers you can choose from obviously you can filter it right down to like your age and what your skin's like and it will come up what is suitable for your skin it is so good that is like my favorite thing about it that you can literally streamline it so that is the end of today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please let me know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye love you